Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to make a day in a life video. So I'm going to go downstairs, eat some breakfast and it's currently 830 so after this, I'm gonna do some studying and I'm gonna show you guys okay, everything. Okay, 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 okay. You live in my dream state. We look at my fantasy. I stay in reality. You live in my dream state. Anytime I count, she. That's the only time we make up, make up. You exist behind my eyelids, my eyelids. No, I don't wanna wait. 20, 20, 20, 20 vision Cupid hit me, Cupid hit me with precision I wonder if you look both ways when you cross my mind I said, I said I'm sick of, sick of, sick of, sick of chasing You're the one that's always running through my daydream I, I can only see your face when I close my eyes Can I get a kiss? And can you make it last forever? I said I'm about to go to war And I don't know if I'm gonna see you again Can I get a kiss? And can you make it last forever? I said I'm about to go to war again I said, okay, 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 do get my infatuation and translate into another form of what you call it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I ain't met you, I've been looking, stuck and waiting for, I stopped the chasing like an alcoholic. You don't understand me, what the fuck do you mean? It's the most in the cheeks, yeah, it's the dirt color eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna be making lunch for me, and I just came back from like studying for like five, four hours, so. I'm gonna make some lunch, then I'm gonna be programming for a bit. Actually, before this, I think I'll change this shirt first because it's kind of irritating me, so. I literally have zero pages left on my notebook and this is for like a week. Okay, so basically I've been studying for a bit so I think what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna be working on my project, my programming project. So it's nothing like for school or anything but I'm, I'm just trying to make a, how do I say this? You know, I don't know if you guys know but there's a website called carpediem.org or something and it is a website where it pulls data from, I think, the United Nations and it displays a visual representation of your life expectancy. So I wanted to kind of like get do something inspired with that. So, yeah, I don't really know how it's going to go, but I'm going to be putting some of the changes I make and the result through this video. Okay, so basically what I'm doing right now is I wasn't able to find any API for for the life expectancy data throughout the world. And like actually I found the United Nations API, however, I have no idea how to use it and I don't want to look into the, the documentation right now because I don't have a lot of time. I decided to just unload the XML because they don't offer um, on JSON format. Then I literally went through like through 200 lines of of XML and I raised a bunch of countries which I don't think there will be people using my website from those countries if you know what I mean so basically now I just converted the XML into JSON and I'm gonna copy everything try to send it to a database create an API for myself and just query everything from the API through the front end
Okay, so basically, I'm doing kind of the dumbest thing ever. I don't really know how to literally insert this JSON object into um, into my database. So I'm doing it manually, and I know 100% that there's a way to do this, especially through Node, but I don't have the time to research. So I'm going to manually insert the country's name and the life expectancy. Probably... It's gonna take me like an hour. Finally, finally. So now I have the data, I just need to create the API so that I can query everything to my front end. And I don't know if I'm, if I'm gonna do that today because it's been like an hour or something. I've, I'll probably need to study a bit more in the, in the afternoon, but for now, I think maybe I'll just start writing the backend and when I'm done, I'll come back and check in with you guys. Okay, so I created kind of the API. I don't know if it's working. Basically, you go here and you write slash API. And the only option right now is, let me think. No, actually all the countries probably will work. Let me just try to put one, Brazil. Let's see if it returns. And yeah, it returned Brazil, the life expectancy. It returned the JSON because I'm gonna get this and turn this into an object and use this information in the front end. But if I try, for example, Argentina, yeah, it works. Apparently the the front end is not being able to to retrieve the the result. Okay, it will work now. It was such a dumb mistake. I was basically yeah. Basically, when I was setting up the parameters for where for the URL, I for some reason put a colon. So yeah, so it's working, and uh, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be tweaking with the the visual part of the website for a bit, and then I think I'm gonna get back into studying because I have a test tomorrow. Okay, so as you guys can see, I took a shower, I put something for clothes, and it's been like a, a two hours since, no, actually like more, like three hours since I talked with you guys. And in that time, I worked through some problems, studying for my test tomorrow, and I just couldn't stop thinking about coding. So I came back and now I'm gonna finish my project. I'm currently like, I got, I, I got the API working, I made some slight changes to the CSS and the styling. Now I just need to work on a component in my project, which is called results, where it will calculate all the results and display in a very pleasing way that I, I still don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm thinking more of like, since, since this project is more, this project is about like representing uh, how many years in your life you have left. So I know it's kind of morbid, but I'm gonna probably try to display a grid with 10 by 10 pixels and show how many pixels are filled up. So that will represent how many years you have in your life. Then I'll have the amount of years left in your life filled with a different color, something like that, you know? I'm just trying to make this because I thought this would, be, this would be really cool. And okay, so I think I have it done. Like I have the basic functional functionalities of it done. So basically you put whatever here, you can put but let me say I was born in 2001 and choose Brazil. And let me, yeah, mail, visualize. And I know this isn't like, I didn't style anything here, but this is basically like the gist of it. So it will say the life expectancy in Brazil is, and it will return the value. Then it will say you're older than 44% of all Brazilians. Then we estimate that you have 54 years left. So enjoy your life. And whenever you change it, you can, let me see Croatia visualize you can see that it will all update because like I made it I made all of this become states uh, except for the countries because I didn't want it to keep re-rendering so I only re-rendered whenever I click the visualize button and also 
the results will update consistently based on a use effect hook in in the component where it will only change based on changes in this in the props passed down from the main page container which is this one so yeah i'll i'll keep styling it i'll still put the visualization part of it but i think for now i'll kind of just go go to sleep because i've been working on this so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i i think this is a good representation of my day like at least for now because i'm currently quarantined and for everyone who doesn't know i'm a student at the university of british columbia i'm doing computer science and mathematics so I'm currently taking a summer course, so that's why I was studying. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it, and please comment down below what are you guys doing during this quarantine. I'm going to be making more videos about coding and about like projects you, you can build during a quarantine. Tell me down below which projects you're building right now so I can talk to you guys and interact. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I see you guys later. Oh,